Parbalorla bamba, parbalorla bamba, se necesito una poca de gracia, una poca de gracia por mi partida, yariba, yariba. Yo no soy marinero, yo no soy marinero, soy capitán, soy capitán, soy capitán. Bamba, 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 bamba. Hello, kids. And I'm so sorry about that, but this blonde-haired, fair-skinned, and blue-eyed kraut just channeled his inner Richie Valens. Welcome to Monday. I hope you had a great Monday. I do have a big mail day to go through with you, but first I am thinking that I must share a story with you. Yes. Not only do I have CRS, but I have also just discovered my new disease is OLD. I was doing just fine until I leaned over the sink this morning, brushing my teeth to get some water to rinse my mouth, and my back gave out and I stayed there. That sucked, and it still really, really hurts. So I'll do the best I can to muscle through the pain. So, first of all, in mail. I think I know who some of these are from. Here's one I got. This comes from Minneapolis. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, thank you. I appreciate this, as always. Again, it's always appreciated, never expected. That is me, if you would like to partake. Hope you enjoyed my Sunday shout-outs this week. Hope you enjoyed the ending of my comic book series. And I really hope you enjoyed my No Filter Friday. I did get one comment I should do a No Clothes Friday, but I don't think that is good for anybody except the eye doctors. So let us see what we get here. And while opening this up, oh, I see something Extremely nice already from Andover, Minnesota. I like, I like. I'm just working on getting them all out of here. They are very well packaged, as most everything has been from each and every one of you, which is very appreciative. And there we go. And when we're done here, I'll take the time and take them out and re-put them in sleeves and holders because there's two cards per. Robin Young, Josh Hader, and I like that. That's my first kiss in here, a gold cup in the 60s style. And another Josh Hader. So we will definitely be doing something with one of those two Josh Haders. <laughs> Next up, let's get into this one. I'm not sure. God, that, that is hard to read. I'm having trouble. But, the heck, let's just open it here and see. I'm not sure what it is. It feels a little odd shaped. Which is fine, as I'm a little odd-shaped, too. And, all right. I got a bunch of these things. That's pretty, pretty differently cool. Let's see what, what we have here. They are all little animal finger puppets. <laughs> I definitely, <laughs> definitely could have fun with these. We'll make it hard to open and sort through cards, but we got a whole bag of different animals in here. That's awesome. There's a nice frog. Yeah. Well, thank you. I want to take a look one more time, see if I can make heads or tails of this faded out printing. I'm really having trouble, but that's okay. Again, appreciated, 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 never, ever expected. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, got something from Redbeard. Let's see what we got here, Jimmy. Come on, buddy. And as we get into that here, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, the talking baseball cards. Awesome. Awesome sauce. The 76 Aaron on the Brewers. The talking baseball stars. That is cool. I have not had one of those. I didn't even know they made the talking ones for the retired players. I thought it was only for the new ones at the time this came out. So that's cool. That's going straight into my PC. And in this little package here, a gold Kyle Stowers numbered of 75? 52 of 75. Holy cow. That's really sweet. Got the Jordan rookie card. I'm still fairly high on him just because I think he can bounce back. He's young enough, you know. Here's Garrett Cole. And what we figured out with the tickets, that's actually weight, height, and uniform number, which is really cool. So he's six foot four, number 45, 225 pounds, which is pretty cool. I like how they do that. Oh, the Vladdy Jr. Nice. Very nice. And Francisco Mejia. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, I remember this. The Kershaw Koufax. Shiny, shiny. Let's see here. Then we have a Jan Moncada. Hey, got a couple of his rookie cards. And that's actually almost better looking than his rookie cards. That's pretty cool. We have, oh, Jeter Downs. I know everyone's talking about him and Braylon Marquez, the Pipeline 100 top prospects. That's cool. Oh, yes. Nico Horner. I'm actually piecing him a little bit. I've about got enough. I think he is going to be almost as good, if not as good, as Keston Hira. Unfortunately, he will be for the Cubs. Luis Arai. That's that's a pretty cool-looking optic from up there in Minnesota. I think I got that one out of the break we did where I got the Minnesota Twins. Yep, because there's the Jose Barrios. That's actually really cool. That is a nice card and numbered 88 of, oops, there's the camera, 88 of 199. And finally, the one I got off his auction, it is number 357 of 499. This guy's been following me around, so I figure why not PC him like Jordan Yamamoto, a Savali, but it's the autograph rookie. That is sweet. Very nice. Thank you, Jimmy. Appreciate you and all your auctions and everybody else that's in the COA. Another Hollis Bill, Last Raps Baseball, me, Steve Rodemacher. Redbeard Breaks, ABQ Sports. I'm sure I'm going to forget one or two. The one and only Bud Stoney. That's six. Come on, guys. Help me out. Who's number seven? Shoot, I hate it when I... CRS, I told you, kids. Oh, this one comes from RTS, and don't worry, I'm sure it'll come to me. Oh, got a note, got a note. Oh, man, I just caught up on a ton of videos today from all seven of us, actually, to try to get us view time. Okay, this is the one I won a while back, but I know he had trouble getting them out, which is good. Sorry, found this envelope in the wrong pile. Think it's some um, giveaway wins from trivia. It was. I won almost every trivia except one that night. You're going to love this. Sorry for shipping delay. That's fine, Rob. RTS Sport Cards. 
As everyone knows, I'm never, ever in any hurry. Take care of other people first. That's, that's always awesome. So let me keep doing this. Uh, where's my knife? No, I don't know. So we'll have to rip into it. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, yeah, Big D, Big D Sports. Sorry I forgot about you, but, you know, the youngin from Minnesota tends to slip your mind once once in a while, and I kid him. I kid him a lot. I've been to school in Minnesota for college. I love that area. I love Minnesota and Winona. Okay, and if memory serves, what set did these come out of? Oh, the Steve Aoki. One trivia question was for that card right there, which I love. It's going straight to PC. The rest were another trivia was for all of these. What do we get? Griffey, Winfield, Maddox, Clemens, and Ripken. Jeez. Talk about good useless knowledge but for a good cause. I'm full of it. You heard it here first. I'm full of it. Let's finish this, and then I will show you what I was gifted by a buddy of mine this weekend also. Okay. So, I did not get the 1983 Topps Wax Pack that I won that night, and I'm sure that's coming. No big deal. But he did get me yet another update. MLD debut, Keston Hira. I do like that card. So that's cool. That's awesome. Another here for my ever-growing PC. And it looks like I've got a whole lot of Brewers cards. Brewers cards. Paul Molder, Hall of Famer. Gary Sheffield should be a Hall of Famer. Robin Yell, that's always a sweet-looking card. Number one in the set, Franklin Stubbs. Then from the Mariners, Harold Reynolds. We have Dale Swain, Paul Mirabella, Daryl Hamilton, Paul Mirabella, Jeffrey Leonard, Chris Bazio. He lost the game I was at where Nolan Ryan won his 300th win at Old County Stadium in Milwaukee. He was the losing pitcher of record. Cal Eldred. I got his autograph on a TTM back in the early 90s. Julio, six-gun Machado. Nicknamed Six Gun because in the offseason he went back home and killed people and got caught like an idiot. The Bo's daddy, Dante Bichette, as a brewer. This guy was so laid back, I swear he was smoking something all the effing time. Dave Nelson, I believe he was our um, lone Aussie. Yep. Home, Brisbane, Australia. Renee Latchman, horrible manager. Rick Cerrone, who is cool. Mark Clear, just a big, tall stud. Everyone's favorite, Rob Deere. And these, by the way, are the 86 traded. Bill Wegman, Dale Swain, Mr. Easter, Miracle himself. Billy Joe Robidoux. Zach Plesak's uncle, Dan Plesak, relief pitcher of the Brewers. Juan Nieves, only no-hitter in Brewers history. Robin Yount made a dive and catch for the final out of the whole game. Tim Leary, not the one from the 60s, thank God, but pretty close. Ben Ogilvy loved his batting stance. Rick Manning was just an all-around nice fella. Jim Gantner. You know, he was Mr. Clutch. If they needed something, he did it. And Juan Castillo. Thank you very much, RTS. Really appreciate it, as is everything everyone ever sends. Now, we will, as promised, show you what my buddy got me. You may remember such popular items as the electronic Etch-A-Sketch. From the one and only handy Andy Lewandowski. 
This weekend, he surprised me, and our buddy Cowboy Bob brought it into the poker game. And this is going to be hard to fit on camera. A big old George W. Bush Top Gun unopened action figure. In fact, listen to this. Yep, it, it even Velcros. But look at that. <laughs> it's just great. It tells all about his time in the armed forces and everything. And I love political. I don't care what side they're on. I love controversial. I don't care what side they're on. That is just awesome. So thank you again, Handy Andy, Cowboy Bob. Cowboy Bob and Dan brought me some great stuff, such as Bucky and... J.J. Watt. So, kids, that's it for today. Thank you for joining. You know, go out there, just be the best you that you can be as my fingers start doing exercises because the rest of my body can't. Be excellent to each other always. Avoid that noid. Keep your stick on the ice because we're all in this together. And peace.